सुपर नोड एनालिसिस वेन अ वोल्टेज सोर्स इज कनेक्टेड बिटवीन टू नॉन रेफरेंस नोड्स देन इट इज कॉल्ड सुपर नोड हियर नोड वन एंड टू आर द टू नॉन रेफरेंस नोड्स एंड इंडिपेंडेंट वोल्टेज वोल्टेज सोर्स ऑफ थ्री वोल्ट इज कनेक्टेड बिटवीन टू नॉन रेफरेंस नोड्स सो दिस विल दिस विल बी अ सुपर नोड now the voltage source could be a dependent or independent voltage source now let's see one example of super node here in this circuit this one is node 1 this node is node 2 node 1 and node 2 are non reference node reference this one is the reference node and 12 volt voltage source is connected between two non reference nodes so here we have a super node this one is super node now to find the voltage v1 and v2 we need to apply one only one kcl for this super node and one kvl to find the relation between v1 and v2 so we will start with kcl at super node see uh, this current is entering 1.5 ampere current is entering at this super node and uh, current is leaving through 6 ohm resistance that is v1 by 6 and one more current is leaving of 3.5 ampere and uh, current is leaving through 3 ohm resistance it is v2 by 3 so we have an equation v1 by 6 plus v2 by 3 equal to 1.5 minus 3.5 that is minus 2 this is first equation which is obtained by applying kcl at super node now we will apply kvl that will give the relation between v1 v2 and this voltage so this one is minus 2 plus rise in voltage v1 and then minus 2 plus rise in voltage 12 volt and then plus 2 minus drop in voltage minus v2 equal to 0 so the equation is v1 minus v2 is minus 12 now we have two equations and by solving the two equation we can get the value of v1 and v2 and the solution is v1 is minus 12 volt and v2 is 0 volt now let's see the next example here again we have super node because two volt source is connected between node 1 and 2 in parallel with the 10 ohm resistance so this is super node 10 ohm resistance is also part of super node now to solve this uh, if we have to find out the values of v1 and v2 then uh, first of all we'll apply kcl at super node and uh, this 2 ampere current is entering current is leaving through 2 ohm resistance so v1 by 2 and then current is leaving leaving um and the value is 7 ampere one more current is leaving through 4 ohm resistance that current is v2 by 4 so the first equation is v1 by 2 plus v2 by 4 2 7 5 5 this is first equation and uh, now we apply kvl kvl uh, 
in this loop to get the relation between v1 v2 and the voltage source so minus 2 plus rise in voltage v1 then minus 2 plus rise in voltage 2 volt and then plus 2 minus drop in voltage minus v2 so the second equation is v1 minus v2 is minus 2 now by solving equation 1 and 2 we can get the values of v1 and v2 and the solution is v1 is minus 22 by 3 volt and v2 is minus 16 by 3 volt now let's see the next example in which we have uh, two super nodes in this in in the same circuit so in this circuit 10 volt source is connected between node 1 and 2 and uh, 5i current dependent voltage source is connected between node 2 and 3 so we have two super nodes this one is the first super node and uh, between node 2 and 3 we have uh, second super node Now see, the node 2 is common in super node, common in the two super nodes. So, we need to write just one KCL for the two super nodes with a common non-reference node and two KVL to find the relation between V1, V2 and the 10 volt source and the relation between v2 and v3 and this uh, uh, current dependent voltage source so we'll start with kcl see we have two super nodes with a common node so only one kcl is required this current is uh, leaving here and the value of current is v1 by 2 and see uh, 6 ohm resistance, the 6 ohm resistance is uh, connected between, is common in super node 1 and 2. So again, we don't need to write current flowing through 6 ohm resistance. One current is leaving through this 2 ohm resistance. Another current is leaving through this 4 ohm resistance. V2 by four and uh, current living through three ohm resistance that is v3 by three equal to zero this is the first equation which is obtained by applying kcl now we'll apply kvl so rise in voltage v1 and then drop drop 10 volt and then drop v2 so this one is second equation v1 minus v2 plus 0 v3 equal to 10 volt we'll apply another kvl rise in voltage v2 and then rise in voltage 5i and then drop in voltage v3 and this i i is v1 by 2 so we have uh, 5 uh, v1 by 2 plus v2 minus v3 equal to 0 so uh, for this circuit we have three simultaneous equation and by solving solving the three equations we can get the values of v1 v2 and v3 and the values are 70 by 23 v1 is 73 70 by 23 volts v2 is minus 160 by 23 volts and v3 is 15 by 23 volts now let's see the another example with uh, two super nodes in same circuit in this circuit 
12 volt source voltage source is connected between node 1 and node 3 so we have a, we have a super node here between node 1 and uh, node 3 and this 5 sorry this 2i that is current dependent voltage source is connected between node 1 and 2 so we have a second super node here and we can see the this node 1 is common between the two super nodes so only one KCL is required here for the two super nodes and two KVLs so we'll start with KCL, the current leaving through 4 ohm resistance is V1 by V4, current leaving through 2 ohm resistance is uh, V2 by 1 and this 2 ohm resistance is uh, uh, connected between the two super nodes with one common node. So no need to write the current flowing through 2 ohm resistance and then third current is leaving through 4 ohm resistance that is V3 by 4. So this one is first first equation. Now we will apply KVL rise in voltage V1 and then drop 2I and then drop V2 and I I is V3 by 4. So second equation is V1 minus V2 minus 2 by 4 V3 equal to 0. This is second equation, third KVL or third equation is obtained by applying KVL rise in voltage V2, sorry, rise in voltage V1 and then drop in voltage 12 volt and drop in voltage V3. So third equation is V1 plus 0 V2 minus V3 equal to 12 volt. Now we will solve the three equation to find the values of V1, V2 and V3. And the solution is value of V1 is minus 3 volt. Value of V2 is 4.5 volt. And value of V3 is minus 15 volt. Now we will see the last example in which Again, we have two super nodes in same circuit, but there is, I mean, two uh, super nodes are separated. There is no common node between the two super nodes. In this circuit, 20 volt source is connected between node 1 and node 2. So we have a super node here. And uh, this voltage dependent voltage source is connected between node 3 and 4. So this one is the second super node. Okay. Now we will apply KCL. KCL for super node 1. Suppose node voltages are V1, V2, V3 and V4. So current is leaving through 2 ohm resistance that is V1 by 2. Another current, this current is entering, 10 ampere current is entering. Now 3 volt, sorry, 3 ohm resistance is connected between the two super nodes and there is, uh, the, there is nothing common in the two super nodes. So we need to write the current flowing through 3 ohm resistance. And that current is V1 minus V4, V1 minus V4 over 3. So the first equation is 1 by 2, V1 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. Okay, there is one more current. And that current is current leaving through 
six ohm resistance that is v2 minus v3 over six so the equation is v1 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus v2 by 6 minus v3 by 6 minus v4 by 3 equal to 10 and uh, this is first equation now kcl at super node 2 current is uh, leaving through 1 ohm resistance v4 by 1 current is leaving through 4 ohm resistance that is v3 by 4 current is leaving through 6 ohm resistance that is v3 minus v2 by 6 and current is leaving through 3 ohm resistance v4 minus v1 by 3 equal to 0 so this one is uh, minus v1 by 3 minus v2 by 6 plus v3 in fact v3 into 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 and uh, plus v4 1 plus 1 by 3 equal to 0 this is second equation now we have four variables so, so we need to have four equations and the next two equations can be obtained by applying kvl kvl at super node 1 so rise in voltage v1 then drop 20 volt then drop v2 so this is v1 plus 0 v2 in fact v1 minus v2 plus 0 v3 plus 0 v4 equal to 20 this is third equation and fourth equation can be obtained by applying kvl at super node 2 so rise in voltage v3 and then drop drop 3 vx and then drop v4 so it is v3 minus 3 vx is v1 minus v4 we can see vx is v1 minus v4 v1 minus v4 minus v4 equal to 0 so the equation is uh, minus 3 v1 plus 0 v2 and uh, plus v3 and uh, 3 minus 1 2 v in fact yes minus minus plus 3 minus 1 so plus 2 v4 equal to 0 this is the fourth equation now we have four unknowns and uh, four equations so by solving the four equations we can obtain the values of v1 v2 v3 and v4 and the solution is v1 80 by 3 volt v2 is 20 by 3 volt v3 is 520 by 3 volts and v4 is minus 140 by 3 volts so that's how uh, uh, we can solve the questions with uh, super node or that's how we uh, do the super node analysis. Thank you.